I happen to be working on a home improvement project for my house. I'm installing this roof vent. Speaking of roofs, it's very important that the slope is accurate when it comes to putting a roof on your house. A roof with the incorrect slope means that you get to tear it down and rebuild it over again. And that wouldn't be any fun at all. When figuring out the slope of a roof, builders and city officials will often refer to it as rise over run. Now you might know that as the change in Y over the change in X in a coordinate plane. If the run on this particular roof was 10 feet and the rise was 3 feet versus a run of 15 feet and a rise of 6 feet, what's the slope of my roof? Even slope on a slide can be important. I installed the slide for my grandkids and I had the slope too steep and they went tumbling off the end. So if my slide measures 24 inches in and 18 inches up versus 48 inches over and 36 inches up, what's the slope of the slide? City officials are concerned about safety when it comes to stairs as well, and the slope needs to be accurate, or you get to tear these out and do them again as well. If this staircase has a run of 10 inches and a rise of 8 inches on the first step, and goes out to 30 inches on the run and 24 inches on the rise, what's the slope of my stairs? Several years ago, the federal government passed the Americans with Disabilities Act. This act required that businesses and governmental offices make their buildings accessible to people in wheelchairs. In order to do that, they had to build ramps so that wheelchairs could access their buildings. If this ramp has a run of 30 inches and a rise of 3 inches, and a second run of 60 inches and a rise of 6 inches, what's the slope of the ramp? If this ramp has 42 inches on the run and 4 inches on the rise and 86 inches on the run and 12 inches on the rise, what's the slope of this ramp? Even the dirt around your house and its slope are very important for one very simple reason. You don't want water pooling around the basement of your house and therefore causing tens of thousand dollars worth of damage. Therefore, it's important to have a properly sloped backyard for proper drainage. If the dirt around this house goes out six inches and then down an inch, and then goes out a foot and a half and down three and a half inches, what's the slope? Be careful on this one. We need our unit measurements to be the same. Even the slope on a sidewalk is important. Wheelchairs need to be able to come to a stop without the person in the wheelchair having to hold on to the wheel in order to prevent it from rolling into the street. If this curb has a run of four inches and a rise of an inch and a half, and a run of eight inches and a rise of four inches, what's the slope of this curb?